Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name's Sai, and today's game is Avorion. Now this is a, uh, a space game, if you guys have ever played or seen a little bit of EVE Online, think of it as a somewhat dumbed down EVE Online. Uh, the only aspect being differently is that you can construct your own ship. So yes, the ship that you see before you, I have built. You get to go into this little creation uh, builder, choose blocks and you can attach them. You can adjust the size of the blocks and such. It's really a neat, uh, neat game concept. So I went ahead, I've already built a ship. I've put in a little bit of time getting over the uh, tutorial so that I know what's going on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and target this ship. This is an enemy ship. Now this game does have single player and multiplayer capabilities. I am currently in the single player and I will be playing multiplayer. I just wanted to get this out there a little bit. This is an enemy craft who likes to uh, tick off people in my sector. Now destroying enemy crafts can give you a wide range of different things. It seems that every now and then you can get an item off of them. I have gotten a gun off of them. Whoa, where did... I'm going to guess that he warped the hell out of here. Alright, so anyway, what we can do is that we can go in here, we can hit our navigation system, and we can go check out some coordinates and see what's going on. Looks like we have a uh, Trinium Despair Beta here, so what we're going to do is we're going to set a location that we are able to warp to uh, close to it. Look for that warp point on our map be confused since we cannot seem to follow oh, it was right there the whole time jump calculated so now we all all we gotta do is hit space and we jump to that location and real quick load times if you didn't just notice that it's beautifully quick now what we have to do is we'll have to go back in here choose this as our location and make it our new one we have to wait for our jump gauge to fully fill back up Unfortunately, though, our energy capacity is uh, low. Apparently, we are not gaining energy faster than we are spending it. So that kind of sucks. We need more energy. Let's see if we can figure out some more energy here. Thing I know currently are solar panels until I can find something otherwise. So your ship is using more energy than you produce. Yes, I know. So let's see if we can fix it. All right, let's see. Where could we slap on a few more solar panels? All right, looks like we might be able to slap one on here. Nope, we want it wider. Not a pretty ship, but it's gonna have to do. Hopefully, we are gaining more energy now. Looks like we can slap one there. <laughs> I'm gonna make a prettier ship when I get into the game a little more, but uh, as for right now, we are trying. Looks like we got our jump back. I am not facing the wrong direction. <laughs> All right, and there, here we are. We are in this location. It looks like we have some ships duking it out. They are friendly with us. They are admired. I am not going to cause a distress here because there's no point to. Anyway, one point of the game, as you saw, I was able to fire. We do get different weapons. I can go into the weapons menu. Uh, this one can hur currently hold four turrets and two mining turrets. Actually, I think you can just hold six turrets altogether because I don't, I don't even think those have to technically be there. I think they can be here. But anyway, I like to sum up like this, my mining turrets, my firing turrets. Uh, as you see a one here, you can click them and you can actually register them to different numbers. That way you can actually activate, if you see down here in the bottom, if I press one, it'll activate my gun turrets, press two, it'll turn off my mining. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, mining turret on because we are currently going to... 
Well, that's some interesting music there. We're going to go target this asteroid and show you a little bit of the mining. Slow track because the energy of the ship, which is calculated down here, is currently drained. Now, I don't think I should have been building a ship quite this large to start with, but I wanted to do it. Oh, I'm trying to move my camera back, then. but I was trying to uh, go big, go home deal, and it just wasn't <laughs> seeming to work too well with the energy consumption. So anyway, you can come up here. As you can see, there's a. Uh, I'm gonna crash! Oh god! Oh god! Mistakes were made! Ow! 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 Anyway, as you can see, my targeting reticle can uh, can turn green, and and that means that we're targeting it, and we can. Well, we could mine if we had any energy. Gosh, dang it! My ship's been. Who the heck is firing at me? Whoa! 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 What did I do to you? We're gonna come and try to hide behind this wall here okay it looks like we can shoot guns perfectly fine while not having any energy it looks like that guy does not have a lot of health on him the greenish bar at the bottom of my screen is currently my health he used the tactic to fly behind a asteroid as well so we're going to gun him down boom one down I currently only have guns on the front of my ship, though I could swap that up and put them so I can broadside them. Uh, but that will come later. Maybe I should target him so I can see how much damage. Man, I am tearing him apart. As you can see in the distance, there's also a little green dot which keeps turning blue. If it's green, I am targeting him and my shot should land just like that. It looks like we have one more enemy ship here. Alright, 100%. Let's see how much damage we can do. Okay, he is quite a bit tougher. Still going down pretty quick. They don't seem to be doing too much damage on me. So that is letting me know that early off in the game, I probably don't have to build my ship this large. Because I do have quite a bit of HP. Uh, with the release of reworked flight physics, and added some new blocks. Flat thruster stacking no longer works. You may have to adjust your ship. Check out the new directional thrusters, gyros thrusters, gyros, and inertia dampeners in the build mode. Cool, I'm going to have to check those out after I actually pay attention and take out this ship. I was following the wrong thing. Wasn't quite sure what that was. I think I have another enemy ship on me. Get a little closer so our, more of our ammunition is hitting. Boom, are these friendlies? Yeah, those were friendlies helping. Anyway, we took him out. Alright, as you can see, it has some hovering loot here in space. What is this? Your brake thruster is low. Build thrusters to reduce drifting or build your ship of lighter material. Alright, so since we did help our relations improve by 3000 they gave us $8,000 and we picked up six iron from that shipwreck. Um, let's see here. Looks like that ship over there that we destroyed has two items hovering in space. As you can see, there is a gold and a white item. We will... Ooh, 13 more gold. We are going to go check it out. Hopefully it's some good gun weapons. It looks like it's weapons. Which is just fine by me. There is a beacon here that I cannot target. Alright, we're going to get rid of this menu here. Let's check in our inventory what we got. Anyway, they were talking about dampening thrusters and stuff. There's iron thruster, iron directional thruster. Okay, that's new. And inertia dampeners. Cool. So the updates are rolling in. Double iron mining turret. Double iron salvaging turret. Ooh, salvaging? Okay, that's pretty neat. Oh, you know what? That might be why I wasn't doing much damage with it. These salvaging turrets. I believe a double iron salvaging turret. This one's exceptional. Oh, its efficiency is higher. That is awesome. What is being removed from it, though? Energy per second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Energy per second on this one costs 1,267. Energy increased by 640. This one has nothing? 
You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and equip this to our ship and see if we are able to salvage off of other ships. Maybe that's what we're able to do. Oh, you know what? I got click you. And then place you. Not enough crew to mine the turrets, which is bad. Okay, we'll get out of the build mode. We'll turn this off. Turn on our mining turrets. Hopefully they are able to go ahead and mine. Okay, where'd that ship go? There was an enemy ship drifting here, wasn't there? Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, there's that enemy ship, by the way. Okay, I want to get there, please. I want whatever is floating in space. Is that titanium? It might be titanium. Eternal pale turquoise. Oh, a color. Well, that's interesting. All right, we are trying to turn ourselves around here, aiming at this ship, see if we're able to salvage. Ugh. They're right, stacking those really affected my turning. And it looks like one side actually got blown off. I'm trying to get up here to mine it. We are able to salvage it, check it out. salvage stuff off this ship. Big pieces of the ship are just chipping away. Is this even giving us anything? Or are we just wasting time and effort here? Alright, doesn't look like it was really giving anything. We probably need our salvage turret to do a little better. Anyway, that was a short idea on Avorion. I'm going to do more videos on this. I will get to the online and uh, learn the ins and outs of building my ship better so that we are not just sitting here in space out of energy all the time. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and will stick around for the future content. I love space, so I will probably be getting into this game quite a bit. And uh, yeah, if you haven't you know, subscribed to my channel yet, maybe you should think about doing that. Go check out some of my Overwatch and World of Warcraft gameplay. I will be putting up Mass Effect Andromeda, hopefully an episode tonight. Waiting for uh, the stupid update to download. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed making this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.